Welcome to Spinbox Media. My name is John Young, and today I'm going to be showing you our new Dynamic Mega Mini widget for your Site Fluency 4 or 5 website. The navigation is possibly one of the most important parts of any website, so it pays to have one that is able to be easily configured, styled, and integrated into your Site Fluency project. The great thing about the Dynamic Mega Menu is its simplicity. The code it generates is clean and standards compliant, and the CSS classes provided allow for easy styling, which means it's ideal for any website. So I have some pages already set up in SiteFluency. I have a home page, an about us page, a services page, and a contact us page. If I go into the home page and drop in the dynamic mega menu widget from the Spinbox widget section just here, and click publish. Refresh the index, and you can see the navigation starts to take form. I've used default CSS here, but obviously you can choose whatever CSS you like. Details and what classes you can style are in the documentation. To see the menu in action, you'll need to add some child pages. So to do this, I'll simply click the Actions drop down for the About Us page and create a child page. I'm going to create three pages. What do we do? Publish that. why we do it and lastly how we do it if I publish this and then refresh the home page again you'll see the mega menu start to take form or shape now one of the main features of the menu is the ability to add a unique image to each mega menu item. To do this it's very simple, you just go to the whichever top level page you want to add the image to, so in this case the About Us page, click on the Actions drop down, go to the Title and Properties, and you'll see that once the page has been created you've now got access to a new field which is Sub Menu Image. If you click Change Photo, I'll choose from already uploaded images as I have some prepared already. So select the koala just there. Click done and then save the changes. If I refresh the index again, you'll see the navigation now has a unique image. This is unique per parent node. So if I quickly add a child page to services, and call it web design for example. If I then add an image to the services page here, click Actions, select Title and Properties, and you'll again see the submenu image field has appeared. Click on Change Photo, select an image, go for the penguins this time. Click Done, and then Save and again go to the home page, refresh and you can quickly see how nice your navigation can become. A further configuration available to you is the contact details field. It's called this due to what we use it for in our own project but feel free to put whatever you like there. If we go into the home page, edit the widgets and look for this contact details uh, property just here any HTML you put here will be output in the front end. So if we just put contact us today on and then click save, publish the page, again refresh the home page and you'll see Whatever HTML we specified in the contact details property has been outputted just here. Well, that's it for the dynamic mega menu. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them on the SiteFluency Marketplace. Thanks for watching.